This trial is really meant for patients with triple negative breast cancer, a specific subtype of breast cancer. And this is for a group of patients who've already had their traditional chemotherapy and who've also undergone surgery. And this specifically will focus on the population who has some disease left at the time of surgery. Patients, once they have heard about the study and agree that this is what they would like to participate in, have their tumors genomically sequenced. And again, here we look at a variety of important and well-known genetic flaws that are targetable by the drugs that are currently FDA approved. That patient's genome, their tumor, and their past medical history are then discussed at a tumor board amongst about 20 different faculty here at Indiana University with a variety of diverse expertise. And again, based on all these factors and including the genomic factors, we select a drug. We select the best drug for that patient. That drug then and that patient are then randomized to either getting that drug for four cycles or to the standard of care. As you know, genomic technology, just like cell phone technology, keeps getting cheaper, faster, and smaller and continues to evolve nearly on a monthly basis. And so what we're proud uh, with this trial is that we're incorporating the most cutting edge genomic technology for these patients. It's a comprehensive test where we're looking at the DNA level, i.e. the blueprint of the cancer. We're also looking at what that DNA produces, what's called the RNA or the message. And then we also look further at the machine, sort of the protein level. And we take all three levels of data and integrate them into a single genomic analysis and then analyze that data together to figure out the best biomarker and plan for each patient. There are early indications, particularly in the metastatic or stage four disease setting where this uh, approach of using genomics to guide therapy is providing clinical benefit. But one of the neat things about this trial is it's first to my knowledge and to our knowledge to use this genomic technology in the early setting, in the curative setting, where the primary endpoint is not improvement in progression free or overall survival, but the primary endpoint is in, uh, improvement in the cure rate. From the study, we're uh, receiving a uh, large plethora of correlative samples of tumor tissue and plasma and blood. From that work, we're going to be doing a lot of biomarker analysis to identify better why certain patients respond or don't, to understand toxicities, uh, understand the role of circulating markers like circulating tumor cells or circulating tumor DNA as markers of relapse. Um, we think there's going to be a huge amount of extra uh, discovery that's done from the samples from the trial just beyond the primary trial itself. And as you can imagine, because we're using any drug on the planet, it is essentially impossible to get more traditional funding through pharmaceutical companies to support this. So our funders have really done this with the belief that this is a trial that is gonna make a big difference in patients' lives. Our major funder has been the Vera Bradley Foundation. We've also had great support from the Walter Foundation and also the IU Health Strategic Research Initiative. The usual treatment for triple negative breast cancer outside of a clinical trial varies greatly and may include additional therapy or simply performing routine follow-up without any additional therapy. This study involves extracting your tumor's DNA and RNA and then performing next-generation sequencing. Next-generation sequencing is a new way to look at abnormalities and differences in the DNA and RNA obtained from your tumor. A goal of this study is to try to match an FDA-approved drug with your tumor's DNA and RNA abnormalities. This is called directed therapy. In this study, half the participants will receive directed therapy and half will follow the standard approach that their treating physician will determine. This study will test whether those who receive this directed therapy have better outcomes than those who follow a standard approach. This study has two groups. A computer will assign you to one of the two groups by chance. This is called randomization. This is done by chance because no one knows if one study group is better or worse than the other. Group A will receive an FDA approved drug that is directed toward a specific genetic component of their cancer. The FDA has approved these drugs, but not necessarily for your cancer. Group B will be treated using a standard approach that their treating physician will determine. There are other criteria that must be met to be eligible for this study. Talk to your doctor to learn more. A full description of this clinical trial is also available at www.clinicaltrials.gov.